Welcome back to another episode of World Beater Wrestling. Today I'm going through another fan requested move or counter. Uh, this one comes from Mandrak TV. I hope I pronounced that one correctly. This one was a top wrist lock and what we can do as a counter from there. So that's a tough one because there, there really isn't a lot you can do from a top wrist lock. There are of course counters here and there. They're quite basic and simple, but there's nothing that is super flashy, super cool, looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna show you one today though that is very practical, very easy to do, and I'm gonna show you a really nifty way into the top wrist lock that I was shown in, in some of my early training sessions under Cole Devaney in Adelaide. So with the, uh, with the top wrist lock, starting with the entry in, we're gonna go from a lock up. I'm gonna get my partner to lock a hammer lock on. Okay, so this is the entry point from the hammer lock. Now anytime we, want to reverse the hammerlock. Most of the time, we want to keep the hammerlock locked on. We want to step back behind our partner. So we want to step back, duck under, and now we've switched it to a hammerlock of our own. So that's the, that's the usual uh, thing we do from a hammerlock. This is the complete opposite. So it's the polar opposite to what I just did. So from the hammerlock, instead of turning this way towards my opposite shoulder, I'm actually gonna, gonna drop my body down. So I'm gonna bend at the hip and I'm gonna spin in a circle underneath my arm. So it should look like this. I go down, I spin, I spin, I spin, I spin, I spin to here. If they haven't let go, very easily now, I can take control of the wrist. I can bring my left arm in, lock my own wrist, very similar to the double wrist locks we've been doing a lot of lately. Elbow over the shoulder, just to keep that pressure and leverage. And now I've got the top wrist lock. So again, from the hammer lock, I'm gonna lower my base. And I like to just pivot. You don't have to spin around fast, just pivot step by step. So pivot on the foot, down, 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 grab and hook to here. Very important, if the elbow's low, I don't really have much of a hold. Keep it high, drive through the elbow. Now, the, the reversal from here, the most common reversal, from that top wrist lock. It's exactly the same as the hammerlock reversal I just showed at the start of this video. So what I want to do is get to the point where I can step back behind their body and take control of their arm. Now the way I do this is first I need to turn and face the other way. So I turn, turn by stepping out and then I step back with my right foot. From here they've still got it locked on. So all it's going to take to break that grip, if you look at the fingers, they're, they're pointing up, the fingers are pointing up, meaning I have a very easy exit through the top of the fingers where those fingers break. So really all I have to do from here is bring my hand up and now I've actually got control of their arms. If I keep going, keep going, even without two hands, I have them in a really tough position. If I want to end with a hammerlock, very simple, I can just go behind. If I didn't want to end with a hammerlock, if I wanted to stay in front, I could take the wrists, I could go into a double wrist lock takedown, or I could just take a wrist lock. So plenty of options from that position. So again, locking the wrist lock. From here, I spin, 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 come up. My opponent wants to turn, face the opposite direction. So stepping out with the left foot, out to the side, and then stepping back with the right leg, bring it around, and now they've got a hammer lock of their own. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.